Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. I think I know why you're... <laughs> I love the barking, I'm not gonna lie. I love, I love when you bark. Uh, but uh, come on, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Uh, yeah, see, it's all the, yeah, all the women cheering, all the men going, what? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, this is a very special Valentine's Day because the, what they're saying is the ultimate Valentine's Day date movie. Oh, geez, the guys. <laughs> yes, Fifty Shades of Grey. You're not into S&M, sir? Well, let me tell you. Yeah, this is quite a switch, because usually on Valentine's Day, it's people who don't have a date who are spanking it. That's the, uh, <laughs> switch. But I love this story I saw in the news. You know, when the book, Fifty Shades of Grey, uh, came out, there was an uptick in the <laughs> emergency rooms for people coming in with, shall we say, related injuries. They, <laughs> they read the book, they tried to do this shit in the book. And, and they're, they're, expect, they're bracing <laughs> for an even bigger uptick now that the movie is coming out. In fact, there, there's a hotline now that you can call. If, if there's something in your ass, press one. <laughs> if... <laughs> but it's covered under Obamacare, so... No. Oh, speaking of that... <clears throat> The president, try, always trying to sell Obamacare and, uh, you know, trying to reach the young people. Uh, so he made a, this is gonna cause a lot of outrage, I can just tell on Fox News. He made a goofy video for BuzzFeed where he's look, talking to himself in the mirror. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> and taking selfies with a selfie stick, which is, I think that's great. Cause that way he can act like all the other Democrats and distance himself from Obama. <laughs> um, But, no, I love the selfie stick. It lets, you, it lets you look more natural when you put yourself in the picture. So it's great for Brian Williams. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, oh, I know. Poor Brian Williams. Poor Brian Williams. What, what a time of transition, right, though? Brian Williams going on a six-month leave. Tiger Woods announced he's leaving golf. Uh, David Letterman's leaving. Our friend John Stewart's leaving, so they'll be playing more golf. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and it's gonna all switch around. Uh, Brian Williams is gonna be the Kardashian's dad. <laughs> and Bruce Jenner is gonna replace Rosie O'Donnell on The View. So that <laughs> everybody's switching chairs. Not me, I'll be here just doing what I do. But uh, I have my doubts whether Brian Williams really will be returning after six months or ever because they keep finding other little lies he told. He seems to get shot at constantly. <laughs> <laughs> For a nice guy who's got an office job mostly, he seems to always be getting shot at. Always seems to be, you know, when the story is breaking, they caught him, they think, you know, saying that he was there uh, when the Berlin Wall fell. <laughs> Actually, he got there the next morning on the space shuttle. You see, these are the kind of things that... But uh, at least he came up with a good excuse uh, as to why his mem memory was uh, fuzzy about the helicopter story. He said the night before he was going to Iraq, uh, there was a party at NBC and someone handed him a drink. It was Bill Cosby. And <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's why his memory. Oh, Bill Cosby. Two more Bill Cosby accusers have, coming, have come forward, uh, bringing the total to everyone. <laughs> everyone. Oh, yeah, Boko Haram just gave him a Lifetime Achievement Award. I am... S <laughs> oh, fuck you with the boo. What is the booing? It's Valentine's Day. It's only love. Now, in other uh, <laughs> scary Islamist uh, news, uh, the President of the United States, President Obama, formally asked Congress this week to grant him authority to use military force against ISIS. And what a dilemma for the Republicans. You know, because if they vote for it, they're agreeing with Obama. But how can they say no to war? Come on. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like offering a redneck fried poison. What? I mean, I'd call it a Sophie's Choice, but Sophie just had to decide which one of her kids would live. This is agreeing with Obama. <laughs> 
And the weird thing about it is the president is asking for the authority to wage a military campaign against ISIS, which he's already doing. It's like the guy who's in the middle of fucking and saying, tell me that you want it. <laughs> what do you mean? We're doing it. How much can I tell you more? You're inside me. Now, down in Alabama, they are having a big fight. Have you seen this about gay marriage? The federal court down there actually says it is legal. But to prevent that, get this, 28 counties in Alabama are refusing licenses, marriage licenses, to anybody. That's how important this is to them. They are traditionalists, boy. You got to give them that. They believe marriage is not just anything. It is defined strictly as a union between a man and a sister. 